From music to powerful speeches, people across the Roanoke Valley are honoring this historic day. Town News reporter Alexis Davila found out why today's Juneteenth celebrations had even more meaning than those before. Celebrating freedom through their voices and feet in Eureka Park. Roanoke residents honor Juneteenth. Cheering with pride, 17-year-old Jennifer Bean says today her squad is recognizing their ancestors who paved a path for them. It's important for us to know our history so we know to do better when we get older and so we know to actually get our education and take everything serious. More than 40 vendors offered food, cultural merchandise, and taught the history of the significant day. A comforting sight for Donna Davis as she says school books have nixed black history for too long. It's not completely being taught in the schools. Um, so that's something that is the people's responsibility. A couple miles away, 17-year-old Sanaya Cotton sings by the Martin Luther King Memorial. A melody for Pernella Chubb Wilson as she reflects upon the time she met MLK in Danville in 1963. Every day I get up thinking about how Martin Luther King brought me to where I am today. 17 years ago, she helped commence the celebrations in Roanoke with the Southern Christian Leadership Conference's annual Juneteenth event. But she is elated to now see it be recognized nationwide. Oh Lord, I fell back and came back again and shouted again and said, thank you, Jesus, is long past due. In Roanoke, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you.